Now here's an animation developed by our engineering team to help show the performance of active handling. It simulates an aggressive lane change maneuver on a wet surface. The white car is equipped with active handling and the blue car is not. As the car enters the maneuver, the driver applies more steering input than the car can react to. The car starts to push or understeer. The active handling system senses this and applies the inside rear brake, helping to pull the car into the corner. Once the car is in the left lane, the driver tries to straighten it out, but the yaw inertia of the car causes it to turn more than the driver wanted. Active handling reacts to this oversteer condition by applying the outside front wheel brake. The resulting torque helps keep the rear end of the car from getting too loose. As the driver returns to the right lane, a similar sequence of events unfolds, worsened by the whipping action of the maneuver. The active handling system assists the driver in maintaining control by applying the brakes appropriately. This affords the driver a greater level of control, as well as gradually slowing the car to a more manageable speed. The overall effectiveness of the Corvette active handling system or any similar system is directly related to the available tire traction and the aggressiveness of the given maneuver. Active handling is designed to better utilize available traction to assist the driver, but it cannot overcome the laws of physics. The active handling system reacts only in extreme situations, so special care should be taken when the system does activate because that's a clear signal that the vehicle or tire limits are being exceeded.